Welcome to the virtual TV studio at the University in Ansbach, Germany. Today, we want to learn how Word was able to improve their business by implementing a customer relationship management solution. We'll look at both perspectives, the business perspective starting with the strategy, key performance indicators and stakeholders, as well as the IT perspective, looking at data, information models and communication channels. But first, let us take a look at the company Wirt. It's true, we started small, with two people. And then we grew quite a bit. How can we help customers steer their business more efficiently? At Vert, we don't fear the future. We prefer to help build it every day in every way, globally in over 80 countries. Let me welcome our two guests from Vert and their consulting partner, My Hero. Our guest here in the studio is Mr. Schneider from My Hero. Welcome, Mr. Schneider. Thank you. My Hero is one of the premier consulting services providers uh, for customer relationship management solutions. And you've helped um, more than 120 customers across the world with more than 250 implementations. That's a pretty impressive track record. Congratulations on it. Thank you. And I also welcome um, Mr. Saller. Uh, he's the CIO from Wirt Austria and joining us via web conferencing from Vienna, Austria. Welcome, Mr. Saller. Thank you. Mr. Saller, you've recently implemented a customer relationship management solution. Can you share with us some of the objectives that you had um, for this implementation? Yes, of course. Wirt Austria is a wholesale company. We have more than 50,000 customers in Austria and we have more than 400 sales representatives spread over Austria, 21 branch offices, mm -hmm. an internal sales department of about 20 persons. And for our smaller customers, we have uh, a call center solution we call Telesales with six agents. And at every point of sale, a customer can have a contact. And the problem was that uh, we didn't have a collection of all customer contacts in one place. Everyone has written the information maybe in an Excel file or in a database or handwritten on a sheet of paper. And with our CRM system, we wanted to have a 360 degree view on our customers. That at every point of sale, all information uh, about our customer should be available. And with our CRM system, we also wanted to have uh, a better collaboration between our internal departments. We want to have, at the end, less administration and an easier visit planning for our sales reps and to have really a complete documentation what ha happened at each contact at our customer. Okay. Sounds like a pretty comprehensive uh, implementation. Um, and Mr. Schneider, you have supported with, uh, with this implementation. Um, how did you get the support from all the uh, stakeholders involved? Can you share this with us? Yeah. Um, at the moment, uh, the, the beginning of the project, we identified the three groups of uh, stakeholders. So, of course, the first one were the owners and the senior management, then the customers of Word, and the employees, the more than 400 employees in the areas of sales, tailor sales, and central customer data management. Um, so the owners were expecting from the CM project an improved financial return. Um, the cus customers, of course, were expecting some better customer support um, from the organization through the CM project. So for those two um, groups, their expectations were quite clear and quite positive towards the project. Um, whereas for the employees, um, the expectations on how the Im CRM implementation will change their daily business, their working atmosphere, wasn't that clear. So the employees uh, were rather uncertain whether the, the implementation will um, affect them in a negatively way 
meaning, for example, by layoffs or higher management pressure, or in a positive way, for example, in by reducing or reduction in, in administrative tasks for them, or better support for the customer visits. So in order to reduce this uncertainty, we um, created a quick win in implementing the CRM application for a rather small group of end users for the Taylor Sales Department. And in this, we showed that the application really fulfills the needs and meets the requirements of the end users and is easy to use and easy to handle. Mm -hmm. um, another action we took um, to reduce this uncertainty was very, very proactive communication throughout the project. So information is really, really key here. So um, we were talking about the project status in sales meetings. We even had monthly newsletters written by the key users of the project to inform all employees of words of future changes in processes by the CRM implementation. Okay, I can see where having newsletters and other communication vehicles helps to get buy-in from all individuals involved. Yeah. Now, implementations can be quite complex. Yeah. Um, do you have a formula for success based on your experience, how to manage uh, implementations like this one? Yeah, in each and every project, our major aim is to reduce complexity from the very beginning. So already in the in uh, analysis phase, we're starting with the prototype system, which is really tailored to the needs of the industry our customer is in. So we're starting with the prototype system and then moving onwards to the very special characteristics, process uh, characteristics of our customer. Mm -hmm. So this means we don't have to build the CRM system from scratch, but we use this pre-built prototype on which we build on top of it and move onwards. So therefore, we can reduce the complexity of the system and the implementation. We also reduce the implementation duration and, of course, the, the risk of the implementation. Yeah, I can see where this works. Um, Mr. Sala, I've got another question for you. Um, in the beginning, the uh, sales representatives used handwriting um, to record the customer transactions on filing cards and nowadays they are using the CRM system um, to record these transactions electronically. Now how did this improve your business? Um, that's right. The cards were printed once a year and provided to the sales rep and during the year every visit was documented, handwritten on that card and only the sales rep had access to the data. With CRM now we have the possibility to collect the data centrally and to provide it to all other point of sales. Uh, the sales rep had uh, the information about the customer, like I told before, printed out once a year with our CRM system. This information, we call it Kunden Info, uh, customer data sheet is provided at every visit. Whenever visit is planned in the CRM via an activity, a customer fact sheet is created and always the newest information is read and printed onto that PDF form. And we do not only have that in our CRM system, we synchronize them to the Outlook and so it's uh, available offline. And additionally to that, every sales rep in Austria has a Blackberry and the information is spread to the Blackberry and the Blackberry is always on and so the information is uh, very easy accessible at the customer visit via the BlackBerry. Uh, this sounds uh, pretty handy to have a handheld device as a sales representative um, and access to all uh, customer relevant information. Um, very good. Now looking back at the implementation since you have now completed your CRM implementation, did you actually reach or feel like you reached all the set objectives? Um, yes, and of course we define some KPIs, for example, the average number of order lines or the average uh, number of orders a uh, sales rep makes a day or uh, the customer fluctuation. Well, that is a very big goal of us to reduce that. And uh, with the CRM, we are working on a BI integration of CRM data. We could measure the average number um, of orders in the past with our existing BI, but with our CRM integration, we can uh, take a look uh, what influence has the number of visits to uh, the turnover, for example. And so we have here very, very wide field. We, we couldn't imagine all possibilities we have 
with this implementation, but uh, we are starting a lot of projects, for example, uh, a zero customer reactivation. And with this BI integration, we can uh, really take a look what's happening half a year after our zero customers uh, have been reactivated, how the turnover developed. And so um, we had our rollout in the last autumn and so we don't have so much experience but we are on a very good way and we are really looking forward having all the information and really having chances with all this information to, do, yeah, to be a better service partner for our customers. Thank you. It sounds uh, very helpful to integrate uh, the systems like the CRM system um, together with the business intelligence system to perform uh, data mining operations um, for easier cross-selling and other um, you know, benefits. Uh, certainly your project uh, looks very much like a success story to me. Uh, congratulations um, on the project. And uh, Mr. Sala, uh, thank you very much for sharing the vision of Word uh, with us here. And also thank you very much uh, to Mr. Schneider for uh, joining us here in the TV studio in Ansbach. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for inviting me.